Welcome back. So, question is, can you make watermelon without the big mint watermelon? <clears throat> so, kind of, I did that before. I think. I think I did something like that before. But, I did it yesterday. Well, sort of, kind of did it yesterday on the big band, big brand meltdown thing. Remelt down. So, I need more of, it was a young color called Watermelon Gold Flake, Gold Flake, and I need more of that color, so I did it with those two. I'm going to make it into, like, a watermelon candy, and instead of small black flake, I'm going to put in tiny gold. Into it. Okay, so one cup of dead on plastics already heated up. I think. Might have to reheat. Okay, let me reheat that quick. Now that's reheated. I was, it was heated up the whole way, and then I was messing with the camera trying to get the camera right, and it must have cooled down. But we're just gonna start. So this is one cup. So the ratio would just be whatever number to one cup. It wouldn't be anything weird. Starting with avocado from Lore Works. All right, 40 drops. It was close enough to 40. I kind of had some drops that were like five drops, but. So right now it's like a bright watermelon. There's watermelon. There's it. So you can, hold on. So it's pretty close. Hopefully that came through well and kind of, but now, but, can I go with one? Just gonna start with one drop. And another one. Darn it, I got it on the side. There we go. So I'm going to be shooting this into the Ecto Crawl 3.4 inch, the Core Shot Stick Worm 5 inch and the 1.75 inch duster. These two were the first two molds that I said they're from Angling AI, and then the last mold I said the duster is from Fat Guys Fishing. So, it looks like it needs one more drop, but it's cooling down too much and I can't get it stirred in correctly. So I'm gonna reheat that real quick, and I'll meet you back in just a second. Reheated, stirred that in a little bit more, two more. That's what I'm gonna go with. All right, so this is Yum's, a match to Yum's watermelon.
That's Yum's one and all. This is Power Bait's watermelon candy. So as you can tell, that's way darker. That's almost a green pumpkin. And this is Power Bait's green pumpkin. Start with the gold flake. Dead on plastic. Dead on plastics calls it AU79. Ah, don't know why I cannot say that. But, um, we're gonna go with a one thirty sec one thirty second of a teaspoon. I do kind of vi violently hit my uh, teaspoon things off the side of the cup. But gotta make sure I get all the glitter off. Pretty shiny. I'm gonna leave it at that. I kind of like that. I don't really want to overload it. Alright, so now Kelly Green and Grape Flake. Both of those glitters are 0.004. Or 0.04. Jeez. Now we're just going to stick with the same 132nd for now. Probably add more. Both purple and green. Well, grape and Kelly Green. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more. Just gonna do the same thing over again. All right, that should be good. So I could have just used a 1 16th of a teaspoon for those two. But better safe I'm sorry because once you add it you can't unadd it all right so that's looking good I'm gonna degas that I'll meet you back for the injection and the worms are actually gonna be a real poor shot this time don't know how well you can see but the rods are in there all right bit of a reheat then degas and then injection into the three molds we have out and we're going to do something special with the dusters don't know why i showed you that i meant to do that Give me a few and I'll be back. Injection time. It's been quite a while. I was having difficulties with the uh, degassing process. Start with the stick worms. Inject nice and slow and steady. Since there's no appendages, you don't have to worry about extreme pressure or a little bit faster. Then on the active crawls, a little bit faster, still holding a little bit of pressure. And then the dusters, 
which I do quite a bit faster because they're a small ice bait. And then top off sprues. Then back into the cup. What I do when I'm pushing the uh, plastic out of the injector, the extra, and I always uh, go slow. That way I keep down the bubbles because most likely I'm going to be using it again that day. Or even for just like remelting it, it'll keep all the bubbles to minimum. Alright, so this is going to be a two part video. I'm going to do something with the dusters that involves fly tying and soft plastics. So, it's going to be a bit of a test. But dusters are ready to demold already. So we're gonna start with demolding the dusters. Look good. Oh man, I forgot to try that trick that I did last time where I pulled the sprue and it took them all off. Well, some of them off. don't see many bubbles and it wouldn't matter anyway because I'm just going to be using the tails so I'm going to pull those off the sprues and I'll meet back for the demold on those two we got one bad duster I accidentally pulled all the appendages off of it get in focus come on there it goes but now we'll just get remounted and I already have 19 of them be plenty alright so Oops. I think I might have broke a few more. But ecto crawl. Come on, get out of the mold. Okay. They look good. No denting or bubbles. As far as I see, that looks like the watermelon. For the end of this video, I'll grab one of the watermelon worms to bring down for show. But that is. Come on. Very close. You could probably get away with using that as a watermelon, and people wouldn't know the difference. Okay, so now back to the core shots. Oh, jeez. I forget how heavy the stick worm mold is. It's already a five pound mold, then you add all the plastic into it. Come on. Alright, so we got a bad dent in the one. No idea what happened. But there's a slight dent in the other, but I'm pretty sure the core will be able to push the dent out. And hopefully you can see the core. That's pretty thick. Why is my camera not focusing? Okay, so which one's the bad one with the dent now? Oh, that one. That dent's not going to come out, but... Take the guys off. Oh yeah, really oiled up rods help. I mean, get all the excess off. These come right off. So I'll get four good ones. That's not bad. 
what I do if I get a bad one, I just leave the one that had the bad rod, or bad shell. I leave that rod out and just take a solid worm from it. And if you ever get like little bubbles on the end, um, I just pulled the one off, so bad example, but there's, hold on, I'll show it to you. That little point right there will sometimes leave like bubbles on the end of your worm. You wanna get that off because if you look at the other side, the vent is right there. And that's the only way that air can escape for the course. So, now I can't get the camera set back up. But I'll meet you back when it's time for the course. Okay, four shot injection. I'm also doing the dusters again. Lost my injector for a second. Just, whoop. Black with red flake. Red flake's not coming through on camera, but Oh, I forgot to clean up my injector, that's what's not working. Okay. Now shot Duster demo. Darn it. I opened it again without pulling the sprue. It was too late to close it back up. Come on. Looks good. Not much flake in those. But I keep a few because I was hoping for more red flake in the tail shot D mode. Well, it didn't work. And this one didn't even fill for some reason. It just darkened it up. Sorry, that was 100% not in frame. And then that one didn't fill. I held him up to the uh, LED lights above my head. You can kind of see the core. But I don't think the fish have LED headlights. And I don't think the sunlight is that bright. So, can I go with that was a miserable fail, but.
Ah, I got an idea. I bet you the uh, core wasn't hot enough. That's why it didn't fill. But pretty good. It still displays the uh, watermelon. So I'll get a group picture of them. But if you would like to buy these baits, any other baits, custom orders, blah, 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 you get it by now if you've been watching all my videos. Um, I'll put my email up on the screen with the group picture of all the baits. And I will catch you in the next one, which will be the second part of this. Which will showcase what in the world I'm doing with those. I moved the camera, I'm not used to where it is. But I'll catch you on the next one.